Well, hi there, and welcome to episode 40, can you believe it, of The Evidence. This is your buddy, Dave. Whoa, oh, you know, I was taken to task just recently by someone who said, you're not my buddy. Don't say you're my buddy. <laughs> okay, but I'm your host, okay? I'm from Iowa. We're friendly people, at least where I live, and uh, so it's just natural for me to say that. If it bothers you, please excuse me. But this is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D. And you know, we have some really interesting things to look at today, including something from the very beginning of Curiosity's time on the surface of Mars. Very strange item. And uh, well, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking. Let's dive right into it and see what we got. Now, here's a strange one from the early days of Curiosity, when it was stuck in one place for over a month. What we're looking at here are rolling plains and distant mountains, and to the right of center, what looks somewhat like a locomotive sitting in the sand. Moving in on this, well, <laughs> I guess it's a Martian mailbox, at least that's what I'm calling it. It looks like a mailbox lid shape lying there in the sand, doesn't it? And look, there's some kind of square device in front of the hollow interior. Moldings or carvings, along with assorted extensions, cover the main part of the body. And in the rear, a larger base with machine-like extensions, like valves maybe. And that piece on top, it almost looks like a scoop, like you would feed things into it. Now, of course, it isn't a mailbox. The impression I get is that it's part of a piping system, perhaps an industrial application from a factory that lies broken and corroding in the Martian sand. Trying to account for all the characteristics of this anomaly through wind and sand erosions seems far more fanciful to me than assigning intelligent agency to its origin. Here is another one of Neville Thompson's beautiful gigapans. This is a spirit pan cam, so-called Everest panorama, that was acquired back in 2005. And we look at the debris-littered plain receding to the base of a nearby hill, and in the lower left corner, something that looks like an old-fashioned Coke bottle sits at an angle in the sand. As we zoom in, we get a pretty clear view of the bottle. The traditional shape, along with the bilateral symmetry, are kind of compelling. It doesn't appear from the reflectivity or albedo that it's a glass bottle. It's more likely made of stone or ceramic and odd carvings are visible on its surface. Getting a bit closer, the markings seem like two eyes, a nose, and a, a smiling mouth, but we all know that's just pareidolia at work here. While the true meaning of the markings remain a mystery, they are definitely there and represent, to my mind anyway, further evidence of intelligent agency. Other researchers have found bottles and cans and assorted ceramic dinnerware on the Martian surface. Is this one more to add to the collection or just a freak occurrence of wind and sand? It's pretty hard to ignore that long triangular piece on the left. Let's take a look. Now I titled this an industrial scabbard because it looks like you could slide a giant sword, maybe a, a Klingon one with two needle sharp tips, right into it. Problem is, it's probably at least six to eight feet long, and we all know Klingons don't come in the 15 foot tall size. Seriously, this looks to be some kind of industrial equipment. Could a piece of sandstone erode into this shape? Well, I suppose anything's possible, but take a look at it. First of all, it's symmetrical in width and thickness along its entire length. 
those two notches on the left end. They look purposeful to me. And what about the marks, the holes, and maybe even the rivet or two along the top side? And the way it's up off the ground a foot or so tells me it's attached to something else under the sand. I imagine the constantly shifting sands of Mars hide vast amounts of archaeological treasures just waiting to be picked up. Maybe you'll be one of the lucky ones who gets to do that one day. My friend, <laughs> dare I say buddy, Neville Thompson, man, he just keeps getting better and better at his art. His latest Giga Macro from Sol 2659, it's gorgeous and it's chock full of crazy anomalies. This is a big one in the upper right, a boulder, maybe eight to 10 feet across. Just look at that beautiful thing, the flawless radius on the corners, the flat sides, and what sure looks like carving to me on the right. The piece that it's resting on could easily be a block from the same building. And the left side of the main block looks like it pulled a clump of cement with it when it was torn loose. What's strange to me is the right edge. It's got a right angled piece just sticking out in the air. Whether it's stone or metal, whatever it's made of doesn't seem at all phased about the cataclysm that tore this block loose. And look on the left side, the white pillar or lintel has another right angle piece sticking out towards us. Weird. Hey, thanks for spending a little time here today. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing. At the very least, maybe a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Hey, this whole pandemic thing, it'll be over soon. Just hang in there. This is your buddy Dave of Mars X3D. Be well.